Hmm. All right, we're recording. Hey, what up, people? It's it's uh, I was about to say it's fairy tale. <laughs> oh man, it's anime tier, guys. Welcome, welcome. I know it's been a long time for fairy tale reaction, but you're really gonna love this one as much as I did. Oh my god, these three episodes were godly. The development of Kana that was resolved in these few episodes was just amazing. I loved it. I truly appreciate Kana's character now I understand why she did what she did and honestly I do not blame her it's understandable when it comes to family it's a child is willing to do anything for her for her for her parents right in this case Kana went through the lengths of this trial because to her her father meant more than the situation at hand and once again I do not blame her it wasn't really the trial that she cared for it's it's just an ends it's just but an ends to the means of her trying to get her father to recognize her and to listen to her that way she can finally have the courage to tell her father that she is in fact her daughter and I'm pr I'm if we saw how guild arts came in to save Kana guys low key I think he knows that's his daughter that's his daughter I could be wrong and it just out of mere coincidence but you don't go in coming in, rescuing your daughter at the last minute and getting really freaking rage, like personal rage. He has to know. He has to know. He's just probably hasn't said anything for the same reason Kana hasn't said anything. But either way, awesome freaking reactions. Unfortunately, lo unfortunately though, our guild is in a pinch. They're, they're taking lots of L's, but at the same time, they've been pushing back pretty damn hard. The Tenro tree is falling and so is their magic power. Now, I forgot the dude that's basically Bakugo Hashirama mix. But first of all, he, I just wanted to say, this dude is a fucking, it oh. there I go cursing again. I apologize, I really gotta stop. This dude is the biggest idiot ever. He used the Tenro Island and he's able to control the output and input of magical energies that circulate throughout the members of Fairy Tail, I'm assuming. Yet he decided to leave Urza with power for a friendly fight. I understand that, but bro, if you're gonna get rid of all these people's magical powers, you should have got rid of Urza. That would have guaranteed your win. I have a I have a feeling that Urza's gonna win and literally everything he just did went for nothing therefore um uh forget that old dude's name but the previous uh leader of fairy tale before Makarov his plans are about to go up in smoke because this dude just messed up he left Urza with the ability to still use her magic and fight He's going to regret that. Urza's going to get that W and she's going to destroy this man. Heavy though. Like no. Why would you do that? You should have you should have just guaranteed your victory. Now I understand people having a fair fight and whatnot, but if you don't know your enemy, you better make sure you back up what you're preaching, bro. You're going to lose. It's obvious he's going to lose. That or somehow Urza still loses because Urza's got a whole arsenal of weapon armor and weapons that she could use to fight she is plenty capable of taking down this dude and once she does everyone is gonna start winning everyone's gonna start fighting back unless unless despite well no wait a minute how would that make sense well I mean the tree is down so technically Urza is not supposed to be having any magic powers either but he's a permitting her to have powers still to fight. So if he gets defeated would everyone still have their power or no matter what regardless whether Urza wins or loses is everyone basically kind of screwed in the sense that they can't use their powers. How does that work? like? Would they still be able to fight, or, or uh, let me know, guys. Let me know, unless it's a spoiler. If I unless it, unless it's somehow a spoiler, if you say it, then don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. But man, that almost got me in the feels with Kana's past. I was legit this close to tearing like a to tearing up again. I was this close to tearing up again, but it's like. 
No. Fairy tale has got me too many times in the fields moment, and I ain't gonna cry again, god dang it. I ain't gonna cry again, I tell you what. So, no. I ain't crying this time. Screw that. But I was really close. Um, another way I see fairy tale winning is if an outside an outside source comes in to help. I'm thinking Loxus. Reason why is because when Makarov was hurt, Loxus felt it. He felt his grandfather's life fading or in d danger. So I'm guessing if I was him and if I felt something was wrong, I w and it's relating to my grandfather, grandfather or the guild, I would blast back home and try to see if I can find the source. So I think if there's anyone left that can possibly come in and change the tide of the battle, Loxus can definitely do that. Loxus can e can easily change the tide of his battle. He's an S-class wizard. He's got this. So I'm hoping Loxus comes in and saves everyone or somehow the tide turns if Urza wins this fight. But if Urza loses this fight, it's GG. Game over. You can it's basically done. As for Ultier, it's like, bro, um are you really on Gray's side? Or are you planning to screw him over in some way? Is this just another plan to get back at Gray? Or to do something horrible? Cause she's a villain. Like, she's with Grimoire Hearts. What's her motive? Or could it be that other thing I speculated? She is trying to turn Grey against his own guilt. He's trying to twist him up. Change him. Make him a part of her group. That could be that could be another situation that I believe. Like she could be trying to change Grey to join her. And if that's true, I really hope it doesn't happen. I really hope not. I don't want like there to be this Naruto and Sasuke thing all over again. It would suck. Because it would literally be like Grey goes bad and then Natsu would be the one to have to save him. And then it's this whole Naruto and Sasuke thing. I don't want to go through this with Naruto and Sasuke again. God dang it. It ain't going to happen. I tell you what. But uh, still good, good, good episodes. Love them, love them, can't wait. I need more, I need more, but we'll get more fairy tale tomorrow. I, you have my word, guys. I'm back, better than ever, and I'm gonna splash out these reactions like it's nobody's business. I tell you what. Um, what else did I wanted to say? Is there anything I had in mind? <clears throat> Sorry, guys, just stretching. Was there anything else? Um, I'm sorry guys, my mind's drawing a blank. <laughs> but overall, what I wanted to get off my mind, great reaction, great reaction, great episodes. What am I talking about? Great episodes. Um, I hope Kana and gets closure by letting her father know that, um, that she's in fact Gildarts's da Gildarts' daughter, or another way that could better end the struggle that Kana has of not telling her father the truth. Gildarts knew from the beginning but he kept it a secret because he wanted what he thought was best for Kana. If that happens even better. Even better. I would I would I'm all in for that. That girl deserves to be happy. That girl has wanted her father for such a long time. I'm surprised she has su such patience. Kana deserves some. Ha Kana deserves to be happy, and honestly, I do feel like she's the most deserving to be S class. So, l by the way, guys, let me know: Did she became an S class when she got that spell? And is it a one-time thing or is it permanent? Because I kind of want her to keep it, because that way she, she literally could. That makes her feel like she is like one of the best S class wizard, because she has one of the best spells ever. So if she keeps that spell. Oh my god, I will love Kana, and I will love this, like, this has honestly felt like a Kana series. I heard something. But, uh, yeah, Kana series, I mean Kana arc. But, honestly guys, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this review, let me know if there's anything I missed, 
what was your favorite part in these three episodes of my reaction is there anything that i missed is there anything that you feel like um that you need to tell me feel free to let me know in the comment sections below another thing that i want to end off with is um hmm. what was your reaction when you found out the truth of kana did you did you tear it up did you almost tear up like i did or did you not even really care like what what was your emo what went through you when you saw this because for me it made me appreciate Kana more as a character and I want to get to know more about her in all honesty but anyway that's it I'm out guys i um, gonna catch some Z's and then tomorrow we'll do more fairy tale and uh, remember guys don't forget to hit that like comment and sub and here comes my famous dragon fire